Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this series of videos, we're looking at Universal Audio's Luna software. And in this video, we're gonna be concentrating on mastering in Luna using Universal Audio plugins. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, like and subscribe, and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. Now let's get to it. So you could be saying, well, this is a mastering video. This could be done in any DAW. And yes, you're right, this could be done in any DAW, but the difference of going inside Luna is we have our Neve summing. So we're going through a different chain as well. As you can see here, I've got all of my instruments subbed out to different buses. As you can see, I've got a synth sub, I've got a drum sub, I've got a guitar sub, BV, lead vocals, and I've also got some I've got parallel drums there, but I've also got some effects as well that are also being processed by the Neve Summing. So this is the reason why it's different mastering inside of Luna, as I'm gonna be mastering inside the project. Now, first of all, let's have a quick listen to how different it sounds with the Neve Summing turned off. So I'm gonna play the track. And now let's take the Summing out. and bring him. So as you can see, I've dialed the trim back a little bit because I'm going into the low impedance mode. So to get the levels to match as if I wasn't using the Neve summing, I brought back the trim a little bit, but let's, let's drag up the trim so you can hear the difference. I think you'll agree it sounds way more punchy with the Neve summing engaged. Right, let's bring that back. Now I'm already mixing into the Neve 33609 as I like to put this compressor on my mix bus quite early on in the mix process. So let's bypass that so you can hear the difference. So that's just taken off some of the transients. Now let's bring up Brainworks BX Master Desk. Now I think this is one of the best plugins you can get on the UAD platform. If you need a all-in-one mastering tool, this thing does it all and it sounds amazing. So what I'm gonna do first of all is to go through some of the controls. So what we want to do first of all is to get the dynamic range between eight and six here. So let's do that. <laughs> Now, one of the best features of BX Master Desk is these resonant filters down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch on auto solo and let's play the track again. And then I'm gonna switch in the two resonant filters. So what that's doing is this is gonna be controlling these frequencies. So that's 315 Hertz. And let's take it off. Okay, let's try 160. Right, instantly, as you bring in 160, you'll notice the bass drum and the bass separate. But for me, I've got this nasty resonant frequency around about sort of 300 hertz anyway, so it'd be nice to control it. So let's bring that in. Now let's try the high resonant filter. Let's switch on the auto solo. Now around 3K, we're gonna get some harsh frequencies. So we can control this by bringing in this frequency here. I start to wonder. Now I'm quite happy with the amount of compression that's going on, and also I'm compressing it with a 33609, so I don't wanna bring in any more compression there. But if you have harsh frequencies in the cymbals or sibilant vocals, you can control this with the de And you can solo it here. So as you can see, it's only engaged when those frequencies kick in. Oh, 
Now, foundation is the amount of bottom end, so let's just increase that a little bit. Let's bring back our output trim just a little bit, just so I know that we're not going to go over minus 1 dB. The next controls down here are the MS controls. Now, this is the mono maker and the stereo enhancer. Now, the mono maker can make everything below a certain frequency mono. So I'm going to do this around about 100 hertz. And I can also enhance the stereo image here. Okay, let's try that again and let's put it in bypass. And let's bring it in. So already we've got a massive difference. The compressor link mode links the left and right compression sensing together. So if we get a peak in say the left or the right channels, it will bring down the compression in both channels. So as you can see, the stereo image moves here. So let's bring it in. And it evens out. The limited turbo is going to boost the signal by 1 dB. So it's going to sound more compressed. Let's try that. And bring it out. So I prefer it with it out. So the TMT compressor mode. Now these are four different types of compressors if you want. One being the hardest, down to four being the lightest. Let's try it. Two. So I'm liking two. Now let's hear the difference. And bring in. I hope you guys got something out of that. Now like and subscribe and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats and I'll see you next time. Cheers.